At Bravo's, after being dropped off at the House of Black and White, Arya Stark calls to the door of the ancient building. An old man answers her call and she asks for Jachun Hagar, only to be told that there is no one by that name inside. Some time later, Arya is saved by the same faceless man and follows him. Before the gates of the House of Black and White, the man assumes the visage of Jachun Hagar. However, he insists he's not Jachun Hagar, but, no one, as all faceless men are, and he tells Arya she must learn to be, no one, as well. A few days later, Jachun helps a man commit suicide while Arya watches and sweeps the floor. When she comes to him and tells him that she no longer wants to sweep the floor because she wants to train, he tells her that she is training, to serve, as all faceless men must. Jachun later interrupts the waif as she plays the game of faces with Arya, claiming that she is not ready. When he sees all her things in her room, including her sword needle, he hints to her that she must dispose of all ties to her former life as Arya Stark in order to continue her training to be, no one. After Arya disposes of her belongings, except her sword, which she hides beneath a pile of rocks, Jachun takes her deeper into the house of black and white where she is to help the waif clean the bodies of those who have taken their lives in the house. Later, when Arya is asleep, Jachun Hagar comes to test Arya again. This time, when he asks Arya who she is, Arya tells him how she came to join the faceless men, trying to slip in a few lies into the story. However, Jachun is able to tell when Arya is lying and hits her with a switch whenever she does. Before he leaves, he tells her that she is lying not only to him, but to herself as well. When, eventually, Arya proves herself, Jachun brings her to the Hall of Faces, a great underground chamber that houses thousands of faces. All the faces had been taken from the corpses that the acolytes wash in the temple. The faceless man then asks Arya if she is ready to give up who she is to become, no one. After a moment of silence, he then states that she is not ready to become, no one, but that she is ready to become, someone else. Arya assumes the identity of Lana, a clam seller, and shows Jachun Hagar she can convincingly become a different person developing an elaborate and very believable backstory. The faceless man sends her, as Lana, to the harbor where she observes someone referred to as, the thin man, refuse a contract to insure a man's boat, leaving the man in desperate circumstances. Jachun explains the thin man's business is a sort of gamble yet he does not honor his agreements. When a ship captain dies at sea, he is supposed to make good on his promise and pay the family, but he often doesn't. Jachun instructs her to kill him, and hands her a gift, for the thin man, a vial of poison. The next day, Arya returns to the house of black and white empty-handed, having abandoned her first mission for the faceless men. When Jachun Hagar asks what happened, she lies to him and says that the thin man simply wasn't hungry today and didn't order any over her oysters. Jachun quips that perhaps this is why he is a thin man, and Arya promises that she will follow through on the assassination tomorrow. She departs, and while Jachun seems to suspect that she was lying, he makes no outward reaction to it. Arya will have a lot of work to do soon. After killing Miran Trant, Arya returns to the House of Black and White and returns the face that she used to hide her identity. However, Jachun Hagar and the Waif appear and say that Miran's life was not hers to take, and that a debt must be paid. The Waif grabs Arya as Jachun pulls out a vial, presumably containing some kind of poison. He however drinks the poison himself and collapses, with Arya screaming for him to stay alive. Arya states that he was her friend, and hears Jacken's voice behind her say, he was no one. She turns around to see that the waif now has Jacken's face, and Arya asks who the person on the floor with Jacken's face is. Jachun, in the waif's body, says that he is no one, as Arya begins to remove multiple faces off the person on the floor, until she sees her own face. She then begins to lose her sight, as her eyes turn white and screams for help.